Hey guys, welcome back. In the last episode, um, Nico's alive, and what the fuck is happening? So apparently, all the people that we thought we killed are alive. Why did you waste that strong on someone that was half dead eyes? Fly away, little birdie. Far away. If you get the drop on this stupid bird too. Here I come. Come on, really? Why was that fight like really easy? Ooh, but we have a shit ton of stuff that has been mastered. Give you force ring. We'll give you the worn sphere because I don't ever use you. Floor ice you've mastered. New felt bar. I should save for the sake of it. Velvet, you're really all right. Oh, thank heavens! It's so good to see you! Where have you been all this time? You never even wrote! But... I don't... I... I thought the whole village was wiped out that day. Yeah... It nearly was. But just when we thought it was all over, Arthur, Lord Artorius saved us! There you no, go. No, it was his doing in the first place! He sacrificed Lafayette! It really was a shame what happened to that poor boy. That's all you have to say? A shame? My brother Loppy died I'm that- I'm sorry. Truly, I am. But you can't lose hope, dear. He's right. What counts is that your brother's still alive. <laughs> He's... alive? He's... in your house. Don't worry, we've all pitched in to take care of him. I don't. Velvet. <laughs> the glasses just make eyes that much Velvet. better. Let's go to your house and see. Yeah. First, okay. let's go sell some shit. Wandering merchant. Okay. Let's dismantle everything that we've mastered. It is useless. Those are the best swords we have. We have two sets of feldspar. Don't need both. Armstrong is still technically the strongest. Two of those, we don't need two. Yeah. No five is so stronger. I'm gonna pause it here just so I could go through everything so I don't feel like I'm wasting all this time. Alrighty. So just finished up dismantling everything. Did I just come from that way? Okay. Going the wrong way. I don't think we came from that way, but. Let's go back to Velvet's house. Why do I feel like this is like a setup? Luffy. Luffy's alive? What's wrong? Well, that didn't break it. 
Next time you suspect an illusory art, test out your theory on yourself. <laughs> you think we're all seeing an illusion? It's possible. It wouldn't be the first time. But an entire village? That shouldn't be possible. Shouldn't be, no. How do we approach this? Try to break it apart at the seams somehow? No. For now, we and our enemies share the same goal. Come on, help me look for the Therian. Sure. I think I'll stick with Velvet. I won't stop you. Keep a close eye on her. I don't think she's entirely right in the head at the moment. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be if it was like, hey, the brother you thought that you watched die? Yeah, he's alive. Ooh. Oh, we can't, can't go get it. My home. It hasn't changed a bit. We need to be careful, Velvet. Aizen thinks this could be a trap. You think Nico and everyone are being controlled? I don't know. It's just... You think it could be Melchior's doing. But even so... <sighs> <sighs> Not going to work on me. You're insane. People can fight against pain, but... <sighs> I won't be deceived by this. You'll open your wound! Sleep. Ever since that day. I oh found boy. him at the shrine. Collapsed on the ground. His wounds healed, but he's never woken up. If he's still alive, that's all that matters. I'll find a way to wake you again, Lafi. I swear I will. We'll be together. I still have to thank you for this comb, after all. So, that's where Velvet's comb came from. Did Lord Artorius really try to sacrifice such a defenseless child? What's wrong, Lafayette? You don't look like your usual perky self. I'm... I'm okay. I'm just glad Velvet's all right. What? Your name is Lafayette too? <laughs> what a weird coincidence! Uh, yeah. Hey, sorry about all that, you guys. Don't worry about it. What are we going to do now? If it were me, I'd make Laffy set something he really likes for dinner tonight. He can handle soup. Maybe he'll notice the smell of your cooking and it'll wake him up. Yeah, maybe I should. Would you watch after him while I go buy what I need? Of course. I am at your beck and call. Is there anything I can do to help too? Yes, please. I'll need you to be my taste tester. Okay, well, this All should right. just, First, I'm going to whip up my special quiche. And then I'll throw in tomato and egg soup. And some pudding. Oh, I didn't even know your face had smile muscles. I wonder if they've located the Therian. Let's just leave that to them. You're not curious? Of course I am. But for right now, I want to stay close to Velvet. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Something more important than finding the Therian? Yeah. My stomach is twisted, and I've got a chill up my spine. I'm really scared. Very well. I trust your feelings. We'll leave the Therian to Rokuro and Aizen, and stay with Velvet then. 
Thanks, Eleanor. Magilu, what will you do? Whatever I feel like. <sighs> I shouldn't have asked. Thanks anyway, Magilu. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? In the end, whatever happens, happens. Wiser words never spoken, right? She has to know what's going on. Shall we be off my... We don't have the stuff for it. I actually don't know if we have the stuff for it. Whee! I actually never really use Mogi so I don't. Okay, let's like talk to some of the people. I, I genuinely... It's been a long time, hasn't it, Velvet? I wanted to apologize to you for ages now. Apologize? What for? That business with Arthur. Back then, I said he seemed like a fraud. I know you took it pretty hard. But if he wasn't there three years ago, our village would have been destroyed. I'm sorry I doubted him. I didn't trust him then either. I only realized how amazing of a person he was when he saved all of our lives. <sighs> I'm ashamed of myself. All this time, we've been feeling terrible, thinking we may have driven you to leave the village. Please, forgive us. That's not... I, I didn't... Where have you been these past three years? It must have been tough living on your own, without any family to help you. <sighs> Sorry, you don't have to talk about it if it hurts. But if you ever feel like talking, we're here for you. I know we can't make up for all the pain we put you through, but if there's anything we can do, just ask. And if you'd like, you're always welcome to come back. The whole village would welcome you with open arms. Oh, now they want to be nice. Right? Well, we're like, no, that's full of shit. Okay, let's kind of just talk around. Velvet! It's been forever! Great to see you! You haven't changed a whit! What do you mean by that? <laughs> uh, have you seen Nico yet? I have. She's as full of life as she always was, right? Come to think of it, nothing's really changed much, has it? I suppose not. By the way, how are Orthy and Russ doing? Those pups haven't changed a whit either. They saw a guy with a big sword walking with a dour-eyed fellow in black. They freaked out and hightailed it. That would be Rokuro and Aizen. Those dogs are as cowardly as always. So, what part of Velvet hasn't changed a whit? Hmm. She doesn't have any makeup on? Uh-huh. <laughs> The only thing he noticed is like she ain't got no makeup. Between the cold, the famine, and the demon blight, there were times I thought the world was done for. But over the past three years, I've stopped worrying. I know we're overly reliant on Arthur and the Exorcists, but this village has changed. The Exorcists taught us that there are things the demons hate. We can't defeat them, but we can keep them away. It's peaceful now. Exorcists stop by on patrol every now and then. We haven't had a case of demon blight since. What happened to your sister was horrible. But you and Laffy said should try to move on. Make well, the most of your lives. Coma. I hope he wakes up soon. I'm sure he will. I wasn't trying to use it! Hey, could I get some eggs, milk, spinach, and tomatoes? And I'd love to know what cheese you'd recommend, too. You got it. And in celebration of your homecoming, I won't even charge. With you cooking up a feast like that, I'm sure Laffy Set will wake up straight away. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Oh, God. You're getting spinach? I can't really handle it myself. You'll never grow up strong if you don't eat your spinach, young lady. I've done just fine without it so far, thank you. <laughs> oh, if you insist, I'll leave it out just this once. Wow, Velvet, you must be special. Not many folks get to be friends with an exorcist. She's, She's not, not my, my friend. friend. <laughs> the way you two bicker, I find that hard to believe. Oh, yeah. Do you have any prickle bore? Oh, I'm sorry to say that I'm out at the moment. 
That's fine. I'll hunt some up myself in the tranquil woods. Just like old times. Actually, there haven't been any prickle boars there lately. You should try the Morgana Woods instead. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for the tip. They don't want us to go to the Tranquil Woods because it's probably still like oh. level one. You don't like spinach, right, Eleanor? Well, you know, I just... All right, it's true, but keep that between us, okay? Velvet really seemed to be enjoying herself at the shop. Quite. And she can really pick out a nice balance of foods while making every gulp count. She seems so cheerful and carefree. That's the real Velvet. I'm sure of it. Yes. An ordinary, dutiful, loving sister. I wish she could have stayed that way. She could have lived a happy life, surrounded by her friends. Just plain Velvet Crow, sister to Lord Artorius. Uh, and maybe not Lord Artorius, but just plain Arthur. A happy, ordinary life for an ordinary girl, with a kind family and supportive friends. But she would have never met any of you. You know, pick your poisons. Okay, let's head back to Morgana. Do we not get to take them with us? Oh god, this is our group we're fighting with. Oh boy! I was already talking about not having enough of the... Hacky hack alone! I'm gonna switch up this just because I don't want her using a I don't want them using weapons that are like very under leveled. Especially since we have to have them in the party. Which don't just randomly show up. We're looking for prickle boars. Keep your eyes on the thickets. I won't run away! Oh, 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 I will say, it is weird though, we are doing quite a bit more damage on them. <laughs> Stop fooling around. Go. Did we ever send a ship out? I could not remember if we sent a ship out, so I was like, let's just check. Let's get started. <laughs> I have no idea what her is. There we go. Come on, really? We got equipment mastery. Yay. Hold on. I'm extra good at beating up the weak ones. Not a 
not even worth my time. No, it wasn't, but we had to do it. This is hunting? <laughs> we keep this up, and who knows how many we'll bring home. How many do we need? I'm going the wrong direction. Let's get our ship first. Do you have a new place, but we still have one more thing to get. We are not doing this. Now I understand why they put them there. I'm extra good at beating up the not, not even worth my time. How much do we need? Guess we gotta hit up each location, maybe? I don't fucking know. They were nothing. Okay, this should be enough. Mm. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I just feel a little sorry for them is all. I hear you. These prickle boars might have all been family. People can be so heartless. Yeah, I'd forgotten this feeling. But what can you do? At the end of the day, we have to eat just as much as they do. Yes. What can you do in this situation, indeed? Maggie Lou, quit being all sus. Luffy's waiting for us. We should run on home now. Luffy. You were ne named after a dead child. Get the hell over it. Should deal with that bird. They kind of don't want it. So we'll do that. Probably won't get much done in terms of like leveling up. We're also missing Rokuro and Aizen. I don't know. Shopping, gonna hunting, laughing with friends. That was how our life used to be, wasn't it? Yes. It reminds me of my own past. Huh? But wasn't your village... Uh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. The happy times I shared with my family, I still treasure those memories. And even after the attack, I've still been able to find happiness. Eating a good meal, making new friends. And falling in love? Yes, falling in... Love? <sighs> Look what you made me say, Bianfu! There's nothing to be ashamed of. Most every girl's happiest memories are of her first love, after all. Don't you think there was someone special out there Velvet had feelings for? Shut the fuck up, BMW. A first love? Do you really think so? That's enough of that talk, Bianfu. You sound like an old man. No! I'm only 150 <gasps> years old and already being treated like an old man! <laughs> but still, I would like to meet the guy Velvet first fell for. I wouldn't. <laughs> I see. You're a guy. Jealousy is the disease. Get well soon, bitch. <laughs> And she was four she was fourteen, fifteen when everything first happened. That's the time frame they're giving us. Ah, 
cut real quick. I have the gut feeling that some like real messed up shit's gonna be happening soon, but I am just so curious as to what's going to happen. So we're just gonna keep rolling. They Heard the news about your brother. I'm happy for you. So, what's your plan now? You guys are snooping around the village. Yeah, we wanted to check out that shrine too, but we got stopped. Apparently, the Abbey's designated it off limits. If there's a Therian around, it's probably there. I'm going to draw it out. If this is a trap, things may turn violent. Either way, this place is about to get a lot less tranquil. The same as everywhere else I've been. You can quit here if you like, but I'm going to keep on fighting the Abbey. And if I try to stop you, you'll insist, I presume. Velvet, no! <laughs> I'll give you one day. Once you've made up your mind, come meet me at the Cape. I'm with him. How tomorrow shakes out depends on what you decide, Velvet. Your hand, it's... As you can see, I'm a demon. Three years ago, I was the one who attacked this village and... I don't want to hear it! Demon, or no demon, you're still you! Okay, so, you're scary! I'll get used to it. I promise. I'll keep it a secret. Let's just live here in the village like we used to, okay? You, me, and everyone else. Nico. So That was rather good, Velvet. Yeah. Luffy said gets a gold star for being such a good taste tester, too. Tomorrow, I'll fix you up a nice stew. Hey, is this... It's the original copy of the book on Enominot. And all the pages are here. Velvet. Hey, Fee. Can I borrow your compass real quick? I'll give it right back. Please? Uh, all right. He really wanted a compass more than anything else. Just like you, he loved to stare out at the sea. Wondering what's on the other side. He wanted to go adventuring someday. Oh, I didn't know that. I bet once he wakes up, you two will be really good friends. So, this is what your life used to be like before everything happened, huh? What's gotten into you? Hmm, maybe I made the pudding a little too sweet. <sighs> Velvet, how do you know what it tastes like? <sighs> I think I'll get myself some shut-eye. But what are you going to do about tomorrow? Mogilu, are there arts that let the caster manipulate dreams? Huh? Dreams? Why? There is, yes, an art that requires a certain type of Moloch. It envelops you in a fog and reads your regrets, then traps you in a happy dream. An art that reads your regrets? 
and shows you happiness. I'm going to the Cape. Now? What on earth's gotten into you? Velvet. <gasps> Velvet! Don't go. Stay here. Stay with me. This is Fee's compass. I'm sorry, Luffy. No, don't. Wait. Velvet, wait. Don't. Don't leave me here. <laughs> Is this what Mogilu was talking about? We're going to the Cape Shrine. It's time to drag out the Therian. And we'll do that in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys then. Bye.